After the loss of my hardcore Iron Man status, a new adventure is born. Carrying on from where I left off, without the fear of death looming overhead, there's no holding back. This is Dead Smithy, and welcome to my Iron Man progression series. Okay, so we're starting off the episode with a construction level, 63 construction coming in, currently doing some solo Todd, uh, because right now, as you could probably tell from my voice, uh, I'm ill, and I don't want to record loads of quests and shit, and stream loads of quests and shit, and uh, me sound like this, but I guess I'm sounding like this anyway. Um, but yeah, 63 construction, very nice. Also, just to add on top of that clip of uh, the construction level, reason I'm doing solo Todd is also because uh, I'm like, lo like loosely trying to get a tome or a dragon axe, and also stock up on supplies, because Todd's good for that, isn't it? Not, not too shabby. Hello, Crokey Smithy's back, but I'm coming in with 54 Herblaw, making some prayer pots. 54 Herblaw, what's that give us? Can now clean qualms. Very nice, I've got fucking loads of them banked, so... Sorted, boys, sorted. And there's another level coming in, 64 Smithing, and currently over the blast furnace, and I'm making use of the uh, two new lovely pairs of gloves we've got. Gold smithing ones, we get extra, we get double XP on gold bars, and the ice gloves, which means I can just pick up the uh, bars from the dispenser without having to use a bucket of water. So, you know, we're being efficient, like I'm saying, I'm the most efficient Iron Man out there. And this is just proof, boys. This is just proof. <laughs> right, so I'm just currently on a Steel Dragons task, and uh, there is 76 magic coming in. Uh, as you can tell, my voice is getting a little bit better, which means uh, I'll be back to questing soon. But, um, yeah, tw 76 magic. Very nice, very nice. Also, I couldn't skip this task, because guess he's out of points, slayer points to skip tasks. Uh, could be me. No, it's it's me. It's me. This task is literally just killing my soul. <laughs> right, just a quick add-in. Um, I'm actually going to add in... Um, oh, add-in, add-in. I've just got. I've just finished that Steel Dragon's task. I'm going to unlock Lizardman's Shaman's, uh, because then I can actually go for... Dragon Warhammer's on task. Uh, yeah. Nice. I've got Worms next. Very nice. Woo! -hoo. Go on then. Okay, so I'm currently on a Worms task, and if I bury these three lovely bones here, 59 prayer boys. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, that doesn't give us anything, but, you know, it's another prayer, prayer, uh, you know, prayer level, which means that it's one less prayer pot that we need to use. Very nice, very nice indeed. Right, lads, we have started the questing grind for this episode, and there is Prince Ali's rescue completed. Lovely. Three quest points, that now takes us up to 145. 700 coins in the bank, I'll oh, go on then. Next up, it's the Corsair Curse. Whatever that is. I don't think I've ever done that quest before. In me bloody life! Okay, this is quest number two of the Questathon. And there is the Corsair Curse completed. Two quest points, access to Corsair Cove. Not that I'm ever coming back here. Uh, 147 quest points. Um, to say this quest was infuriating, I hated every second, and I want it to be thrown straight into a pedal bin. Uh, yeah, that's just essentially all I'm going to say about it, because it was shit. But hey-ho, another one done. And uh, we are now five quest points into the marathon of, like, 20-odd quests to get 33 quest points. Very nice. Next one is the Mystilian Mystery. Never done that. Oh, I've done that one, actually. It's, yeah, it was really shit. <laughs> Lads, I'm currently on a uh, cave horror task, and we just got a black mask. Um, not actually sure what KC we're on with with uh, with, with uh, cave horrors at the moment, but I, I'm, I'm guessing this was better than the 909 kills that I needed to get when... Uh, I first made my Slayer Helm, but yeah, very nice. E, and there is 77 Slayer coming in, which means we can now do KBD. There we go. Uh, or, well, Brutal Black Dragons, but we can do KBD with that. But uh, yeah, very nice. Um, currently still on that Cave Horrors task, got 25 left. Hopefully a Mother Black Mask, maybe push up the bank value, um, and then we can start making uh, some um, alternate Slayer Masks, you know, if we start getting insult heads of cool things. I, I I don't know, I'm talking way above my head now. <laughs> and there we have it! 
Tower of Life quest completed. Also, as you can tell, like, I'm st my voice is still not there. I'm also streaming live on Twitch. If you didn't know, I should actually stream live on Twitch over on Smith, Smith, uh, twitch.tv forward slash smithy TV. But, that enough being said, quest completed. Two quest points. Um, I kind of went rogue on my order because I was lazy and um, did Tower of Life. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth on my list. But just did it anyway. So, yeah, uh, two quest points, te uh, 10, 000, a thousand construction XP, 500 crafting XP, 500 Thieving XP, access to the crea uh, creature creation, I can't speak, we're up to 149 quest points, uh, but yeah, very nice indeed, we've also now got the builder's outfit as well, I don't know what that does, don't know what it gives us, but hey, we've got it. Very nice. So I decided to take a quick break from doing quests because I'm losing my fucking mind. And we've got a close scroll, a medium, a me of the medium variety, you know, you know, medium variety. So uh, currently live, like I always am at the moment. Uh, chat, can we put a one in chat if you think it's going to be shit? Who thinks it's going to be shit? Because, I mean, YouTube got it. Oh, thanks for sending me a Daryl picture. Yep, 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 one, yep, yep, one, one, one. I mean... I mean, I mean, I don't have that, and I think I need it for the clues, maybe? That's, I'll take it, I'll take it. Hey, I'm currently on a Hellhounds task, and there is 87 strength coming in, which also means that we're now 99 combat as well. Uh, once we get to 100, we can start doing uh, the final Slayer boss as well, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Decent. As you can see, I'm currently on one of my favourite tasks, which is a Gargoyle task, and there is 84 hit points coming in, um, making a nice amount of money as well, getting some resources I've like banked a couple of times, so uh, this isn't the full um, scavenge, but uh, yeah, I love me some Gargs, like a Gargs task. Um, I'm trying out the uh, old Dragon Battle Axe, because you get that old charge thing, the uh, the special. And you just start lamping people. It's great. I start hitting 33s. Perfect. Look, there you go. There's a 30. Four. Oh, big boy hits. Hey, I'm currently lamping some uh, blood builds. And there is 75 defense coming in. I thought I'd... It was annoying me that I had 75 attack and 74 defense. So I thought I'd go and get 74, 75 defense just to even up the playing fields. Uh, but there we go. Very nice. Okay, right. So we're doing another quest. This one was the observatory. And this should be the end of said quest. Next, uh, we got cancer. Here we go. That's exactly it. Two thousand two hundred and fifty craft next beat. Don't mind if I dilly do. Two quest points, which takes that to one hundred and fifty one. Two two thousand two hundred and fifty craft next beat. A payment depending on which constellation you got. I got cancer, so I got amulet of defense, and I got an unc uh, uncut sapphire. We're getting there. We've got 15 more quests before we can finish off uh, Recipe for Disaster. We're nearly there, boys. We're nearly bloody there. Okay, as always, as you know, I like going back on my bullshit and doing some barriers in between quests. So guess what? We're going to get an item. It's, it's not an item, is it? <laughs> so Sacrifice has said that we are going to be getting a Darok plate body. I'm not feeling it, but you never know. Let's have a look. That's, that's, it's not a direct plate body, is it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna, just, we're just gonna forget all about that one. Hello again, we're back on our bullshit, doing some more, some more Barrows on stream, live. If you didn't know about my Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash pity TV. Are we gonna get anything for plugging my own shit? Oh, yes! Darok's plate body, boys! Oh, go on then! Oh, go on then! Yes! Pog Central! Oh, boys! Look! Look at it! <laughs> love it! You love to see it! Hey, and there is 81 range coming in. Currently on a troll task, trying to get a, a, a granite shield as well. But that ain't going very well. But there's 81 range coming in. And very nice. Right, lads. There is another quest done. Eagle's Peak. That was two quest points. 2,500 XP for Hunter, the ability to capture ferrets, and also access to the fly eagles from eagles... Pe what? I can't read. If you... I'm watching this on stream, right? I'm watching this. Why can't I English, for fuck's sake? I'm currently streaming over on Twitch. I... I've done a quest. 
I think I can now do chins. I think it means I can now do chins. Anyway, it's another quest. It's another quest done. Another quest down. 153 quest points. 22, 22 more. And then we can do uh, Recipe for Disaster. Sound. Right, it's not often that I get to say this. But I actually did a, a quest actually pretty quick for once, which is quite nice. And also, it's worth f four quest points, I think. Scan for all this. There we go. Sheep herder com quest completed. Four quest points. 3,100 coins. We made a profit. We had to give 100 coins. We got 3k back off that. And there's 157 quest points. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, and there is 63 crafting coming in. Uh, currently doing some um, gem mining just because I was close to 63 crafting. And I thought I'd go and get 63 crafting by getting some gems. Because, you know, gems are gems and they're really useful. Because I can use them for jewellery. Stop judging me. But there's 63 crafting. Anyways, that give us anything. Oh, it now means that we can make green dehyde bodies. Oh, go on then. Okay, so the date is the 16th of January today as a recording. And it means that it marks the end of Twisted League. As you probably saw on the channel, uh, I did do a couple of videos on Twisted League. I did record some other bits, but, you know, I kind of decided to not upload it. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time, sort of late game, on um, Twisted League. I kind of stopped maybe two weeks in, three weeks in. Um, but the League Store and all that stuff is up nonetheless. Uh, and we've got 2,390 points. We just were shy of the fourth relic. Uh, but this means that I can get the Twisted Relic Hunter uh, Tier 1. Grab that. There we go. Uh, oh, we're like 10 point. No. No, we're not. Now, do I want that? Or do I want the teleport? Fuck it, I'll go with the banner. So I've already got a teleport. But there we go. Anyway. Uh, and also we can claim the trophy, which I think is Mithril. If I remember correctly. Oh, shit, you get all of them. Uh, so bronze up to Mithril. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, because I think to get adamant it's like 5k, and we're nowhere near that, so, you know. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it, lads. We're not gonna fucking talk about it. Uh, but there we go. Look a little bit like The Undertaker. You know, I feel like I'm about to rise from a coffin. Uh, and there's the banner as well. Oh, that's really cool. It's a nice little logo on it. Uh, and then you've got bronze trophy, which is, oh, that's cool. The fact that it's in, it's in the shield slot. The fashion scape potential with that. And then the twisted mithril. Is it a two-handed? No, it's a single handed. Okay, so some of them were dual handed, um, so they would take up both slots. But no, that's cool. That that's a nice bit of fashion scape. Uh, doesn't look as good with that one, but hey ho. Um, but no, sound. I thought I'd just record the clip of me getting this. Um, I've just been doing some fishing. Um, I am gonna have a bank video up. I'm probably gonna put that up before I release this episode, to be honest. Um, so if you do want to go and see my updated bank video, I did, I, I'm doing annual bank videos on, um, sort of the stuff that I have, uh, on the account and how we're progressing over sort of the years. Uh, there is one from the beginning of 2019. So if you want to go and check that out, uh, just go on the channel and put it and look up the bank video. It's not hard. Uh, there'll probably be a playlist as well. So I'll, probably, I'll drop that in the description. Uh, but that will be up very soon as well. Um, you've probably already seen it, like I said already. But, um, yeah, you can see how scuffed this account is. <laughs> but anyway, very cool. Okay, so this should be the end of a quest that I totally haven't forgotten the name of. Um, uh, one second, it will probably pop, well, it will come up with it, won't it? Yep, 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 keep going, there we go. Uh, Eyes of Glorify, Glufri, Glufri, I don't know, we'll, we'll go with Glup Glup. Eyes of Glup Glup. Quest completed. We got two quest points. We got 1,200 magic XP. Not too shabby, Alonso. 2,500 woodcutting XP. Uh, 6,000 runecraft XP, XP, which is pog on pog on pog. Uh, 250 construction XP. Uh, a mysterious, mysterious crystal seed. We're now up to 159 quest points. I know this wasn't one on my list, but it's now been added because it was a nice quick one, apparently. According to Wolf and Chat. I'm also streaming live on fucking Twitch at the moment. I haven't plugged this shit enough, but I'm doing it on Twitch live so you can watch me make a tit of myself and not have to wait three weeks <laughs> for a fucking video. But anyway, very nice. 159 quest points. We're now, what, 16 away before we can finish Recipe for Disaster, which is pog in itself. Okay, so after doing that quest, um, it means... 
what do you mean? I can, oh, there we go. I can walk across here. I can sing crystal, and I can make a crystal saw, uh, which gives us a bit of a boost in construction. I can't remember how many levels it is. Chat, can someone remind me? Three, plus three, plus three. Also, thank you very much for the four bits, Tat Dat. Much appreciated, mate. Uh, so it gives a plus three boost on uh, construction. So we're now technically level 66, which gives us... Was it instantly unlock? Uh, superior guard. Oh, superior guard. Go on then. Uh, what decorative stuff? Um, Noble, thank you very much for the two bits. Much appreciated. As you can tell, I'm live on Twitch again. Only, only with the soil that uses a sort. Go for ornate pool. Anyway, I'm gonna have a look through what we can get. Go and upgrade the house a little bit. I think it's a, a lot of chests that we can stick some shit in as well, which is very nice. Right. So the uh, crystal. Uh, thingy with geek. I can now make a uh, teak armor case, uh, even though I'm only 63. So, haha, fuck the system. Well, hey, go on then. Um, and I can also upgrade my treasure box to a um, teak one as well. So we can now put, I think it's medium clue stuff in there. Yeah, medium stuff, which is a very nice indeed. Can save up some bank space. Um, I can also stick the um, uh, what's it called? The twisted league stuff that we just got in here as well. Just to save up a bit of bank, bank space. But, um, yeah, very nice indeed. See, that was a quest worth doing. Right, so I've just done a beginner clue. And going by my normal track record, this is going to be shit. This is going to be absolute trash. Maybe we might get some hardcore luck and get the froggy flip-flops. But I doubt it. I'm going to cover my eyes and I'm going to let chat react to how good it is. Is it any good? I'm going to try and not look at it. If it's any good. Are you fucking trolls? They all started... F well, that's just Bart that started freaking out. That is trap. What the fuck is that? What the actual fuck is that? That is... Oh, God. Okay, right. So we're doing some easy clues. I've got one. Let's see what we get. Odds on it being shit. Again, I'm going to cover, cover the screen so I can't see um, the actual... Result, but I can see the chat, so open it up. Uh, is it shit? Oh, no, everyone's Pepe laughing. Oh, dear God, what is that? What is actually that? <laughs> That's shit! Okay, right. Second easy clue. Is this going to be, again, I'm going to do the same thing where I cover up my eyes where I can't actually see the chest. Let me hover over. Is it going to be any good? How is it? Chat, is it any good? Oh, sweet Jesus. What is that? Seriously, what is that? It's worth 5k! Why? What? Um, I... As you can tell, my RNG is a little bit shit. <laughs> okay, so I've just made myself a lovely cup of tea. Um, and this I can use. Actually, I need to first drink it. Right, drink it. And then do this. Scroll down to Superior Garden. This gives me a plus two boost. So I can build a Superior Garden. I am going to rotate it. And what I'm going to build is a restoration pool. Uh, and voila. Uh, build pool space. And we're going to build a restoration pool. Because it gives us a plus two boost. Um, so we can now come here and uh, rejuvenate our health. Very nice. Um, the crystal saw only works for stuff that is that requires a saw to build. Um, it also costs me about 400k. Because I need to get a thousand soul runes. And uh, also then buy the room. Um, you know, it's decent. We can teleport home and now heal up if we need to. Very nice. It's, we're, we're stepping in the right direction for this house to actually be fucking useful. <laughs> and there is 58 farming coming in. Currently doing a farm run, as you do. You know, being an efficient Iron Man. But 58 farming, does that give us anything new? No, it gives us white lilies. Uh, very nice indeed. We're getting closer to, closer to base 60. Uh, we've just got prayer and uh, rune crafting and... Herb law and uh, ooh, uh, ooh, a lot of shit. But anyway, very nice indeed. 58 farming. Um, I kind of want to push on for snake grass. I can now boost to get snake grass. I've got some garden pies, which means I get a boost of three. 
Um, so if I wanted to, I could do some snake grass, which is uh, very pog indeed. Pog! There is 53 runecrafting coming in. We also just got like our highest score at Tears of Gothics, which is 111. Oh, very nice. Uh, does that give us anything new? No, but we've also completed a hard task in the Lumbridge and Draenor area as well. Uh, I wonder what that is. Let's have a look. Uh, Lumbridge and Draenor. Um, oh, collect at least 100 tiers of Guthics in one visit. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Uh, it's now, what is it, one level. I keep saying it's always one level away from fucking Lawrence, but it is actually one level away this time. But we need 11,000 XP. I've got a lot of uh, runecrafting stuff banked, or rune, uh, rune essence banked, or pure essence banked. Uh, but I can't be asked to do proper runecrafting, so we're going to get that through lamps and more guthics. So, yeah, very nice. E, and there is 78 Slayer coming in. I'm currently doing a Blood Bells task, sort of taking a little break from being efficient. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, but yeah, 78 Slayer coming in, very nice indeed. Um, at 80, we get, is it Necreals? It's Necreals. Uh, yeah, there we go, Necreals. So uh, that's a nice little little thing to aim for. And then the next one is the big boy. Go for 85, we get Abyssal Demons, which means whip time. Hey, and there is 88 Strength coming in, uh, currently on a Dagonoff task. I can never remember how to fucking pronounce their names, hence why I always click on the per thing, person, monster I'm killing. As I always forget. Uh, but I've got medium clue to do as well. Uh, we're now one level off of 100 combat as well, which means that we can start doing um, the higher tier slayer, or the highest tier slayer uh, master, which would be very nice. But um, yeah, 88 strength. Not too shabby, Alonzo. Okay, so we've got a medium clue from that uh, last slayer task, the Dagonoff one. And uh, I mean, the likelihood of this being shit is just... <laughs> A given in it. Let's crack it open. Ooh, red headband. But uh, look at that price. Uh, a bit of fashionscape. Go on then. Around my butt. good old slaphead. Um, yeah, <laughs> not the best, is it? <laughs> okay, and this uh, worship will be sixty prayer coming in. Very nice indeed. Um, that now means that we're base 60 combat wise, but also, the reason why I went and got 60 prayer, that doesn't give us anything new, does it? Uh, cool, that stuff. <laughs> um, oh, I can now wield blessed spirit shields, yeah, that's decent, that's something cool. But, that now means we're now base, oh, oh, 100 combat, which I can go and get tasks from, is it Duradel, the last Slayer, boss, uh, Slayer Master? So I'm going to go and give that a go and see what stuff he gives us. But, um, yeah, kind of procrastinating the uh, questing, but 60 prayer, very nice indeed. Okay, our first task from Duradel is going to be, please be something good, please be something good, 188 fire giants. It's not the best, is it? <laughs> right, I skipped that one and got Lizardman. <laughs> I am not doing nearly 200 bloody fire giants. Fuck that. Lizardman shamans, let's have you. We've also got loads of prayer pots now, so we can actually do... A decent amount of kills. Hopefully we get a Dragon Warhammer. I know we're not, but you know, a man can hope, right? Hey, and there is 59 farming coming in, which means we can now do anything new, anything, anything. White breed bushes, very nice indeed. Um, and it also probably means that I can do um, another set of allotments for snake grass while having the garden pie or whatever it is. Uh, so even more gains per hour, very nice indeed. But uh, 59 farming, decent. One more closer to uh, base 60 then we've just got to get rune crafting and herb lore up but um this has actually been really helping out with the herb lore uh herb lore grind and also with prep pots as well because uh now i could have uh, fucking loads of them it's golden it's golden boys golden hey and there is 55 herb lore coming in uh making some fishing potions just to get the level uh 55 means that we can now make super strength potions uh which i've got a lot of qualms banked to be able to do that, uh, and also I've got a lot of limpworts as well, uh, where I've been farming them, because I'm being efficient, alright? But 55 uh, herb lore, very nice indeed. So you watch this, watch this, eh? Watch this, watch this. Oh no, no, wrong one, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the phone, hold on, hold on, I thought I was going to be the big man and be like, yeah, I'm efficient, hold on, hold the phone, your phone, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, okay. Look, watch this, watch this. 
efficiency. 61 Hunter coming in, doing me birdhouse runs while doing me farming runs. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I also can't be asked to replace the uh, the, the thingies. So, um, yeah. I've only done one farmhouse run on this one. But, you know, it's a bit more efficient than normal of doing none. So, uh, leave me alone. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so, back on the questing grind. Uh, I'm currently not streaming. Um, because it means I probably actually will get some quests done instead of larking around. But anyway, um, on last, uh, last stream, um, I was informed about the kingdom, which is a place that you can go and get, well, you essentially put money in a coffer and you get passive, um, resources for skilling, uh, which is going to help out with, uh, construction grind, um, for now. And then we can switch it over to, like, Herblore or something. But anyway... To do that, I need to do two quests. One is Throne of Miscellanea, and the second is Royal Trouble. But, for Throne of Miscellanea, uh, I need to do Fremnit Trials, which is a quest that I didn't want to have to do for a while, because I detest it. I did it on my main account. Horrible quest. Waste of time. Ugh. But anyway, now I have to do it. And I mean, that one will give us three quest points. So it'll take us up to 162. Uh, and then Throne of Miscellany gives one, so that's 163. And then um, Royal Trouble gives us one as well, so that's 164. So, I mean, it takes us 11 off being able to finish Recipe for Disaster. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a ball aching off. Okay, and this should be... There we go. From minute trials completed. Um, three quest points, 2.8k XP in strength, defense, attack, hit points, fishing, thieving, agility, craft, inflection, and woodcutting. We're up to 162 quest points. Does that give us any levels? Spam for all this shit. It doesn't. But, let's have a quest down. We're even closer. We're now 13 quest points away. It means we can now go and do Throne of Miscellanea. Then we can do Royal Trouble. And then we unlock the kingdom and get a load of shit. <laughs> but anyway... I mean, that quest wasn't as bad as what I remember it being, but um, it's still a pain in the arse, isn't it? I'm going to go and do uh, Thrones of Miscellanea now, so I'll hopefully be seeing you next. I haven't procrastinated. The next next uh, clip, it will be me completing that quest. So, uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, and this should be... Throne of Miscellanea quest completed. One quest point. Your subjects will now collect resources for you. And I'm now up to 163 quest points. So, we've got this one done. Um, and now, uh, apparently I can teleport, if I had a ring of wealth, which I don't, uh, I could teleport to miscellaneous now. But, um, yeah, <laughs> very nice. And there is Royal Trouble completed. Uh, that was one quest point, 20k, uh, coins, 5,000 agility slayer and hit points XP. Uh, and also we get increased resources from the kingdom as well. We're now at 164 quest points. And that means we're only 11 away from being able to finish off Recipe for Disaster. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a pain in the arse. It was, it was a quick one. The boss fight was piss easy, but it's just one of those ones that's just, like, annoying. Just really annoying. Like, I overstocked. I used nothing of this. And, like, <laughs> I used my normal gear setup. So, you know. I actually know what I can do. Oh, it's an empty box. Oh, I don't, I'm not keeping that. And I'm not keeping that either. But anyway, uh, let's collect and see if we can get anything yet. Well, they're slacking, aren't they? Okay, so we can do that. Let's boost that up. And let's boost this up as well. There we go. We just want herbs from them. Sound? Um, Hardwood. Both. Oh, that's new. Oh, shit, actually. Drop that. Drop that a little bit. Drop that one a little bit. Whack that up. There we go. There we go. Um, I don't know where we set it to get in planks, but, uh, that's something that I can look into. But, um, yeah, decent. Okay, one thing that I did just do was finish off the Fremenic Easy Diary. Uh, so let's quickly claim that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, got some boots. There we go. Very nice, look at that. Oh. And I'm gonna rub this and use it on Herblore. Bam. Sick. Alright, awesome. So that's one more down. Uh, we've now done what the Easy Ardoin, Falador, Fremenic, uh, Varrock, Mauritania, and then we've done the Easy and Medium Lumbridge and Draenor one as well. Uh, Mauritania, how's that one looking? <coughs> um, Kandarin, this one, we'll see, look, I could go and finish that, but I'm just lazy, you know. <laughs> I 
could easily go and finish that one, but I'm, you know what, I might go and do that. Depends. Am I in a mood to do stuff? Where's that teleport us? Ooh, that's actually a decent teleport, but I think I only get one of them a day. Yeah, shit it. Uh, anyway, sound. Right, so I thought I'd carry on the efficiency train, and I went and done the Candorin diary as well. Let's spam through this. Do, 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 do. Uh, there we go. Okay, I don't know what this does. Where? What does it do? I don't know. But it apparently does something. I hope. Uh, but we do now have another antique lamp that's going on her floor. Doesn't give us another level, but we're now 5,000 away and 19, but we don't talk about it actually. Let's have a look. Candor. Okay, so extra logs when cutting normal trees anywhere. That's pretty good for construction grind. Uh, the flax keeper will exchange 30 flax for 30 bowstrings. That's pretty pog. Coal truck holds 140 coal. Not that I've really used it. 5% more marks of grace on Seer Village agility course. Decent. And functions as a light source. Interesting. Bad. Not bad. And there is 56 herbal ore coming in. I had a metric shit ton of irrits that I got from farming. Uh, actually, does that give us anything new? Super energy mixes. I'll go on then. But anyway, um, metric shit ton of irrit leaves. Uh, well, irrits that I got from doing farm runs. Um, they're cheap as chips, like the seeds. So, and I've literally loads of them uh, and i had loads of um i've newts as well so yeah 56 herbal not too shabby right so i'm gonna give hardwood trees a go and uh i've just talked i just asked this chap here zaffy um where's the people who look after the the uh the hardwood trees over on fossil island and then i realized it's the fucking squirrels <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant, but uh, yeah, gonna give these, uh, I'm planting some mahoganies, just to gonna see how that goes XP-wise, and if they all die or not, because let's face it, they're probably gonna die, aren't they? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this? No, it can't be. If I check this health, is that, is that, is that 60 farming? Who would have guessed it? Bloody me, getting 60 farming. I've been doing tree runs. We can now plant yew trees as well, got a fucking abundance of them. We can now, right? Right? Right, what I've been doing, I've been doing my tree runs, I've been doing my herb runs, I've been doing my birdhouse runs, I've also set up the kingdom. Mate, we're just, we're just efficient. Like I was saying, like what, two episodes ago? Efficient Iron Man. And you can see that from our streams as well. Efficiency is my middle name, my friends. Efficiency. <laughs> hey, and there is 79 wool cutting coming in, just doing some AFK, <coughs> AFK U chopping. But um, yeah, 79 wool cutting. Wood cutting's going all right. No beaver, but um, wood cutting's going all right, lads. <laughs> right, so I got a medium clue while doing some wood cutting. Uh, fingers crossed, rangers. I mean, if we believe, right, it's like that the uh, Tinker Bell in Peter Pan, isn't it? If you believe, it, it, it's it's a thing. So I I do believe in ranger boots. I do, I do. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that is beyond. Hey, and there is another quest done. Elemental Workshop 2, one quest point, 7,500 smithing and crafting XP, the ability to make um, make and equip elemental mine equipment, got there in the end, 165 quest points, 10 more, and we can actually do something good and get Barrow's gloves. Not too shabby if you ask me. Hey, and there is making history completed. Uh, decided to go with this one because it's actually three quest points and pretty quick. We also get 1,000 prayer XP, 1,000 crafting XP, 750 coins, and we can use the enchanted key all over Gillanor, um, which is this thing here. Uh, I don't know what it does, but I'll have a read into it, I guess. Uh, but anyway, that means we're now up to 168 quest points. I do have a few quests lined up, um, one of which being a Soul's Bane. You then got Edgar's Ruse, My Arms... Big adventure, uh, big adventure, which is I actually need to do for a uh, clue scroll as well, um, and then the great brain robbery, and then mountain daughter, and that should get us to 175 quest points. Uh, I'm currently doing these quests uh, offline in inverted commas and not streaming. Just you know, no one wants to watch me stress out a load of really basic stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, very nice indeed. Hey, and there is Soul's Bane completed. One quest point, 500 defense, hit points, and uh, five, 
500 uh, coins, <coughs> and access to the Dungeon of Tolna as well. We're up to 169 <laughs> uh, quest points, and yeah, what's up? Six more to go. Decent. Hey, and there is Edgar's Ruse completed. One more quest point. We're up to 170 now. 11,000 herbal XP, and we can now teleport to Tro Trollheim as well. Very nice. Next on the agenda is My Arms Big Adventure, which sounds like a really, really... Okay, um, so our uh, mahogany trees are now ready to check health. It's like two and a half days later because for some reason it takes that long for a tree to grow. Uh, but there we go. There's one. There's two, and I think this will be a level. It is indeed. There's 61 farming coming in. That means we can now grow snake grass. Very nice, very nice. And this one will put us closer to 62 as well. Decent. See? People say I'm not efficient. I just dropped three times 15,720 XP on farming. Don't want to flex, but you know. <laughs> Efficiency, lads. Right, so uh, I've realised I was just about to do my big arms adventure, but uh, I've, I've just... Been reading over the guide, and it's saying that I need six pent favor in twi tab wo one or whatever the fuck, however you say it. Uh, clean up mini game. I need sixty percent favor in it. Uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna go and find another uh, one quest point quest because I really cannot be bothered. <laughs> hey, and that is the clock tower quest completed. This is one of the ones that was on my original list, um, and also we're doing it in place of uh, my arms big adventure. Because fuck that quest. Anyway, one quest point and 500 coins. We're up to 171 quest points now. Uh, we're going to do the Great Brain Robbery and Mountain Daughter. And that will give us four more quest points and the ability to finish Recipe for Disaster. Hey, and there is the Great Brain uh, Robbery completed. Two quest points. Uh, Barrel Chest Anchor, which is here. Uh, Bless Lamp, which I'm guessing is on the floor because I've got a full inventory. Um... And prayer book as well, 6,000 prayer XP, 2,000 construction, and 3,000 craft next people now two quest points away from being able to do recipe for disaster. Uh, where's my fucking lamp, lads? Hold on, let's talk to him. There we go. Uh, we're going to stick that on Herb Law, which should give us a Herb Law level as well. Yeah, there we go, 57 Herb Law coming in. Very nice, we can now make potions of magic essence, whatever the fuck that is. Um... And there we go. We're now total level 1650 uh, as well. Decent, decent. And there we go. Mountain Daughter completed. Two quest points, 1000 e attack XP and 2000 prayer XP. And we're now up to that magic number of 175 quest points. Lads and lasses, we can now go and finish off Recipe for Disaster and get those bloody Barrows gloves. <sighs> it's a good feeling. <laughs> okay, right. We're going to go and fight the first uh, boss on Recipe for Disaster. I think it's the giant banana thingy. Uh, I'm probably not going to include all the kills in this uh, video, probably just the last one and get in the Barrows Clubs because this video is already really bloody long and I don't want to make it any longer. Right, come on. Alright, I've decided to do the like the, the boss fights off streams just so I can get it done. But um, yeah, we're on, we're on, the, we're on the, uh, the old Sheffy boy and we, we nearly got him. We've nearly got him. Lads. Yes, there we go. There we fucking go. Yeah, that's it, dickhead. You swell up like some bread and explode. Yes, fuck you. Look at all that. Look at all that. Good work, Dead Smithy. Thank you. Quest completed. Yes, we defeated him. One quest point, 20,000 XP lamp, and full access to the chest downstairs. We're now up to 176 quest points. I oh, don't mind if I do. And if we look on here, do, 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 where are we? Recipe for disaster. Recipe for disaster. Completed it, mate. Completed it, mate. And we're going to slap this on Herb Law. That should give us 58, I think. There we go. There we go. Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're going to go downstairs. We're going to go downstairs. <sighs> We've been waiting for this moment for a long fucking time. I can't remember how much Burroughs gloves are. I'm just going to get the cash stack out. Just gonna get the cash stack out. Give us all those. Give us all those glorious coins. Hit that. Where is it? Buy items. There they fucking are. Lads, lads. Oh, go on then. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Let's put all the Barrows Boy stuff on. Let's put it all fucking on. 
Look at this. Look at this. I'll go on then. Oh, oh, oh I've got all. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm an idiot. Uh, there we go. Lads. Lads. It's a fucking beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight. <sighs> yes! Okay, right, we're going to wrap this episode up here. So to go through our stats, we are up two levels in strength. Um, one level in defense up to, up to 75. That strength is up to 88, by the way. Uh, one level in range up to 81. Two in prey up to 60. One in magic up to 76. Uh, two in runecraft up to 53. One in construction up to 63. One in hit points up to 84. Um, pushing on for nearly 85 as well. Um, five herbal up to 58. Uh, what we got here? One crafting up to sixty-three. Um, two slayer up to seventy-eight. One hunter up to sixty-one. Uh, one level in smithing up to sixty-four. Uh, what else we got? Do do do. Uh, one in woodcutting up to seventy-nine. And what's that? Four levels in farming up to sixty-one. We're at a total level of sixteen fifty-one. And a combat of 100 as well. We're also now on 176 quest points. I'm not going to go through the fucking list and list and list of quests that we've done this episode. But there's a fucking lot. Um, and we also did the uh, Fremenic and Kandarin Easy Diaries as well. Um, did we do the Mauritania one in this episode? I can't even remember. I know this, this episode's been like a month in the making. Which I apologise for. But you know. That quest grind. It was horrible <laughs> to say the least it was horrible um but hey we've progressed the account massively massively barrows gloves we've got them boys we've fucking got them um i'm gonna plug it again but i've been doing a lot of streaming lately over on my twitch twitch.tv forward slash smithy tv link will be in the description in the pinned comment as always um if you do want to see me record these videos live put some input in like half the quests that i did on this was people saying oh this one's a good one to do because you get this just helps to, you know, progress in the account. You guys can get involved. And uh, we have a jolly good old time over there. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button. Any suggestions for the next one? I'm thinking Fire Cape next. That's a bold statement from me. Fire Cape. Drop it down in the comments. Um, if you are new around here and you want to see more, why not hit that subscribe button? Ding the little notification bell. I know no one probably does anymore. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely, however X weeks it is between now and the next episode. It probably won't be that long. Um, and also, the bank video will be up soon as well. I just need to stock up a little bit so I can flex a bit more. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to stop rambling, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>